What's going on, Marvel fans? Welcome back to another short and sweet review, and tonight we're gonna to be talking to you about Marvel Studios' Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. Thank you very much, that would be greatly appreciated. Now let's jump into the review. In this series, we follow Sam and Bucky all around the world trying to take down this new villainous threat. In my personal opinion, I do think this is one of the better Marvel Studios properties, obviously next to Avengers Endgame and Infinity War and Captain America the Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. This is one of the more grittier, more violent, more mature uh, Marvel properties, which I really, really enjoyed about this. Another reason why I like this series so much is because it does touch on current topics such as racism, economic inequality, um, you know, and it brings their own commentary to those uh, topics. So uh, I think that's another reason why I think this series is one of the better properties. The supporting cast is great too. We have Emily Van Camp reprising her role as Sharon Carter. We have Wyatt Russell, who is John Walker. And we also have uh, Daniel Brühl reprising his role as Zemo. And I thought that having Zemo coming back in the show was a great decision. Having Sharon Carter back in the show was a great decision. And having Wyatt Russell play this really hateful character, but you love to hate him so much. He did a great job. I think everybody in the show did a great job acting wise. Sebastian Stan, I must say, probably takes the cake on that. If this man does not get at least nominated for an Emmy of or a Golden Globe of some kind, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to be very happy if he doesn't get nominated. That's all I'm going to say. I think he deserves some type of recognition for it. I think everybody in the show deserves some type of recognition. And um, I think that this is just a, this show is a real contender for one of the best Marvel properties out right now. Unlike WandaVision, this show doesn't have anything really mysterious going for it, which I think is totally fine. I think that with a show like this, all you need is some straightforward, kick-ass, action-packed, gritty shit, and you really can't ask for anything more. Uh, this show definitely has Captain America Civil War vibes. It reminds me a lot of, like, you know, Jason Bourne, James Bond, you know, like, stuff like that. Those, like, those really thrilling, gritty spy thrillers, which I knew it was going to be like that the moment the I saw the trailer. So I'm just really thankful that we got something like this. Uh, from the Marvel Universe. So if you are a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which I assume you are if you're watching this video, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is right up your alley. It's fun, it's exciting, it's funny, it's amazing, it's a great show, I love it, you'll love it, I promise you, it is a great time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give The Falcon and the Winter Soldier season one an A. So if you have seen The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, please leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. And one last thing before I go, if you are interested, I was featured on a podcast called The Metacore Nerds uh, with my friend Sean. Uh, you can find his podcast everywhere from Spotify to Apple Music, and I believe it is on YouTube as well. Uh, please check those out if you are interested. And uh, I will also be talking with my friend Arturo this coming up week on my podcast about the series. We will be getting a little bit more in-depth about it, so be on the lookout for that if you are interested in that as well. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.